In this episode, you will take a look at all the tools required to set up the environment on your development machine. So basically, the first thing and the most important one is the .NET Core SDK 3.1. So here, visit .NET uh, microsoft.com slash download all the links are going to be available in the description box below and uh, make sure to download the .NET Core SDK it's going to be with the runtime okay this is the first one and here we have a link that contains all the tools and SDKs required to develop solutions with .NET and Azure in general you can what we need is a Visual Studio 2019. This is what we are going to use on the course. If you are on Mac, you can use this one. And if you want to follow on Visual Studio Code, you can also do that. So make sure to install this one if you are installing Visual Studio. And uh, you can install the Community Edition. It's totally free and fully featured for individuals. Another tool we need is the Azure Storage Explorer. Basically, it's a Windows app or a desktop application that allows you to navigate your Azure storage accounts and uh, deal with them. It's very flexible and better than dealing with the Azure portal for this one. We need also Azure Key Vault Explorer, which basically Key Vault is going to be the place where we will store all the credentials and the secrets of the application, like the connection strings and uh, some API keys for services, <coughs> unlike that. So the Key Vault is a very secure place for such info for your application. So you need to install the Explorer so you can navigate those secrets and manage them. Here we have the emulators. We need the Azure Storage Emulator if you are on Windows. So basically, it's a simulator for the, for the Azure Storage account but on your machine. So when you are developing and testing, you can use this one. When you are go to production, you will use the Azure storage account. So in this case, you don't miss your services and resources on your Azure account. Yeah, and the last thing, which is an Azure account. Basically, if you don't already have one, you can get started for free by visiting this page and uh, you can register for free, it's just required a credit card info, but they won't charge you anything. And if you are a student, you can check the Azure student offer. The link is going to be below, so you can check it. You can get more and more uh, resources, specifically for students, just by verifying that you are a student in specific university, so you can get that amazing offer. That's basically everything we need. Let's have a look here. This is the Azure Storage Explorer. As you can see, I can check all my storage accounts on the local machine or on my Azure account. And we can create new, deal with them, create containers, blobs, squeeze, tables, many, many things. And this one is the Azure Key Vault. And of course, the Azure Storage Emulator is running in the background. So here I have all the storage accounts related to my Visual Studio Enterprise uh, subscription for Azure. And here we have the local account. So you can check this one, I have the emulator, yeah. So in this case, the development process is going to be very smooth. We can work on our machine, everything's going to be fine. When we publish to Azure, or also we won't make data changes or we have to make move files or something like this. It's just going to be a stable environment on both, on the production and the development. That's everything for this session. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.